Hey, welcome back everyone, this is Bill. I got a different thing I'm gonna freeze dry today. Um, I got an email request from a subscriber that has a business and he uh, exports dried, as a dehydrated uh, sea cucumber and he wanted to see how it would go through the freeze dry process and all that stuff. So um, he shipped me out a box of this, um, I'm assuming frozen, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I'm assuming sea cucumber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and I'm going to get it on trays and get it ready for some freeze dry action. So I kind of accepted this because I was kind of curious. Normally I have I don't take a request because I'm still quite busy doing my own thing and I'm not sure how to open these little containers. Okay, so it's there. And uh, yeah, so I, I don't like renting out my stuff, honestly, but I was curious about this process as well. And Whoa, okay. So let me show you what I got here. Now, he didn't ask me to slice it or anything. And what I have is rocks, oh, they're frozen solid uh, sea cucumbers, a whole tray of them. Now, this is gonna be a problem, I can see already, because these are too tall to, to go into the freeze dryer at this height. So I am going to have to let these thaw and then I'm going to have to um, either flatten them when they're thawed out, which they might flatten. Looking at it, they might flatten. But either way, I'm going to have to do something to prep this. So I am going to let this thaw. You'll see me in two seconds when I come up with a plan on how to get it into the freeze dryer so it'll fit um, in the right spot. So you'll see me in two seconds. Stand by. Hi right, guys, welcome back. So I ended up slicing these so they would fit, as you can see here, um, let me turn the camera, so they can fit in the shelves. I'm gonna go ahead and load those last three trays. I'm gonna go ahead and start this process, and you guys are gonna follow me along on this adventure. Now, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I didn't see anything on the internet about freeze-dried sea cucumbers. So I am curious, as well as the guy who's asked me to do this, I'm sure. So I'm gonna put this in, get it off to the races, and you will next see me when it comes out. Two seconds, stand by. Welcome back. So it's Bill, I'm a prepper, I'm in the Philippines, in case you missed it in the first part of the video. I am now at 44 minutes and this sea cucumber is now complete. Now surprisingly, there wasn't a lot of moisture pulled out of it as I thought there would be. But uh, I'm gonna to try to keep the shape of this as best I can. I'm gonna go ahead and package it up. But let me go ahead and stop this so I can get the uh, product out of the freeze dryer. And we'll take a look at it real quick. Go ahead and hit no defrost. Get rid of that noise. So I'm gonna pull this out, double check that it's done, and then I'm gonna carefully bag it um, in mylar so I can get it sent back out to the person that asked me to do this for them. Let's go ahead and, oh yep, the pans are nice and warm. All right, so this is what it looks like, and it is light, it is styrofoam, absolutely. So I'm gonna be very careful not to break this up so I can get this in bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag this up. I'm not gonna bother showing you what it is. I'm just gonna get bagged up and I'm gonna send it back out to the guy that asked me to do this testing. So I know it's a short video. It's kind of an odd video for me because um, I haven't done this kind of stuff before for somebody else. However, if you do like this kind of stuff, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.